Thanks for staying with us. So there was a story that caught our attention that happened in Lagos State about uh, a bus driver who was stabbed to death. What happened was, I think was on the way to Ekwe, he had run down a cow. Uh, so the headsmen were passing, and um, he obviously was on a speed, and then he hit a cow, and the cow was crushed to death. Two of the herders brought out their knives and stabbed him to death. They have since been arrested, but this has brought up the conversation again on the worth of a human life in Lagos State and what happens when you run into a cow. Is this something that you lose your life for? These are conversations I would like to have this morning. You can call us on 081-270-53687. 091 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. This happened in Lagos. It didn't happen in the north. It didn't happen um, somewhere far away. You know, we like to take these stories when they are so far away and say, ah, oh, imagine. In the rural area. Yeah, rural area. Those people, they don't know anything. Lagos. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on this? Because... Um, we're not saying the life of a cow is insignificant either. You know, yes, a cow is important. A cow is an animal. It's the creation of God. No, don't look at me like that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to moderate and host this. <laughs> I, I think I was looking at yeah. you. <laughs> it's not cautious. You know, a cow, yes, is a living thing. So the same way you crush an insect. You know, I, I tell my kids, don't kill the file. Just open the window, let it go out. You know, just, you know, get, get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't, don't say it. Why? No, don't say it. Just leave it. Off your mic. Off your mic. Off your mic. Let me start by saying. Start by saying. I, don't even I feel the word that came to my mind is barbaric. Mm. Ba oh barbaric God. and how barbaric we are becoming more and more um, violent on a daily basis. The, it just reminded me of what happened with in Lekki, like, this is on a Mirati way. How can you burn a human being on a Mirati way in Lagos? Then we see this one. You stab a human being in Lagos. Like, are we, what's going on? In a yellow bus too. You know? and, and my thought was, these are Nigerians. Mm. The headers are Nigerians. They are the Nigerians we did not raise to value human life who feel the cow is more important to them, and you just killed my cow. These are Nigerian men, human beings. If they went to school, if they studied agriculture in the university, they would probably become, they would be herders, but they would probably, they wouldn't be herders, they would become some mega farmers. They would have their massive um, ranch. They would find a more humane way to deal with what they are doing. They will commercialize the business in a profitable way. Murayo, there was a day I think it was about three months ago, Martin and I were in the car, and we saw two cows running on the expressway, and the headers, one of them was running, After. the other was on the bike, trying to catch up with the Okada, with the cow. the cow. I was scared, because one, this cow was running. If anything happens to the cow, one, it will damage my car, two, my life is at risk. Mm -hmm. But I did nothing to put that cow on the road. And the cow had no right to be on the expressway. Mm. But here is the car running around, and cars were swerving around. And, and a herder jumped cow. on the bike to chase it because that, that, that cow is so important to that herder. So my head, I was just like, not, not, what, 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 where, where are we going to? This is not sustainable. We can't continue like this. And this news just brought. So it wasn't actually the driver that, that, that was stabbed, it was the conductor, the yeah, bus, bus conductor, conductor. That, that was stabbed to death. The driver fled. Um, what are your thoughts for Mariam when you heard the story? <sighs> So, uh, first of all, it just seems that when you do something, when something is done wrong and there's no repercussion and people can get away with it, wherever in the country they get away with it, over time it will happen in a Lagos, as you said. It will yeah. now become so commonplace that people believe it's their right to mete out violence on other people because of perceived um, infraction done against them. So that is why you say, oh, this is not in the north. But yes, but in the north, when it has happened, that it has caused war mm. among tribes, among farmers and herders, what, has, what, what have other Nigerians seen you know, to, to, to stop it, to discourage people from doing that? And now they've brought it into places like these. And that is why we're talking of people 
burning a girl in university because she said something that was alleged to be blasphemous and we haven't heard anything over that since then because you're sort of giving people the right to carry out justice by themselves, jungle justice by themselves. What is so um, sad about this is also the fact that many eyewitnesses say that, well, plus the eyewitnesses that the boy, the man was screaming and crying. There were people there, no one came to help him. There's two police checkpoints there and a police station just around the corner and everybody just watched as he was lynched to death. And that's the same reaction we got for the um, young man on the bike as well that was lynched to death and people said no one just came to be a rescue. So also there's this mentality where people are, is, you know, they're not helping people. They're just allowing Escape. evil, bad people get away with evil. But so, if you go, we, we all condemned the governors, the governors of Zambara, saying that we should have people carrying arms. If somebody, if one of those boys had, had a gun, he would have shot down the herder. Yeah. All right, no, no, no. I'm, not, not, I'm, not, I'm just telling you the but two sides. There are two sides of this conversation. The same way if the herder was carrying true. a gun, he could have just shot that instead of stabbing. Then he would have, been, he would have also, um, also died. Someone would have killed him too. That's why I want to carry it from illegal arms to arm yourself, as far as I know, in this part of the world. To arm yourself. With what? With anything. Whether it is knife, cutlass, gun, anything. Even uh, catapult, wait. Even catapult is illegal in this part of the world. Now, I see police every day. They will stop when this car that has, what do you call it? Um, young people. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> the windows are brown, yes, yes, tinted yes. window. They will bring everybody down. Check your, check your, check your phone. When, meanwhile, phone is not a, an arm. Mm. But all these people, they walk with arms, with knives. Everywhere. Everywhere. Those Okadas, when you lift their sit up, they have knives inside. The, you know those ones that push, that carry carts. The, the, the carts. Mm. I was driving on this um, Ibadan Express Road one day, and this trailer, just I don't know if he even touched him. Just maybe uh, he was just destabilized. Do you know that guy dropped his cart, picked up? If you see the big dagger hey. Hey, that this guy carried, Jeez. myself and Theo were in the car like this. Hey, ran to the trailer, and he jumped on top of the trailer. Waike, you know what you're saying right now, just remind me, mm. just two days ago, Waike, <laughs> I was driving Alakwere, this here, this is our express here, towards Magodo here, and in, there's, a, there's a bush on the, in, the, in the middle of the road. There was a guy, I was at the back seat. There was a guy, he was inside the bush, he had a knife, a dagger. He dagger, he was kind of sharpening it. And my driver just said, I just saw, he was sharpening his dagger, and I'm thinking to myself, these are the people that come and arrest people at have. night. They always have. They always have it, in this Lagos. So, the truth is that, we are Every, people, are, people are already carrying arms. Mm. But you and I are not carrying arms. But they come to attack you and I. So that's what Governor Matawale is saying. That maybe we should not, not, not all of you should get arms. But let me license you. Let me know, check, do a test for you. Make sure that you are emotionally um, in the right sense of mind. Make sure that I can trace what I, have, I, I know the gun I've given to you before you carry gun. So I know that you have given gun, you are, it's not that your, your, your senses are not all, you're all right. Maria, once again, I don't agree with that, but let's go. I'm just telling you what he said. Yes. <laughs> just telling you what he said. Hey, I don't agree with what he said. Okay. Um, let's go to this issue. But we can see the why. The owners of the I as long as we don't As long as we don't penalize owners of the cow, you know, these cows are not owned by the headers. Yeah. There is someone very rich. Comfortable in his house, who owns the cow? Who has probably armed who the headers? Who has probably no. thre threatened the headers that the number of cows must be delivered mm -hmm. to the place where the cows must get to. Okay. And the cow, the, the header now lost a cow and is wondering how am I going to? His violent nature comes out. Mm -hmm. He has the ammunition to carry out his action. He should be penalized as well as the vicarious liability, the owner of the cow. See, Nima has taught us I don't legal know language. why the owner, the of, the owner of the It's just like the owner of the trailer. Because the owner of the trailers also need to be held accountable when they are, the, the container fall off. Because the owner of the cow okay. knows that I'm liable for the cows mm. that get damaged by the header. I will tell my driver, don't follow one way. Don't try yourself. Because if anything happens, what you're having me, Should these cows be on the road? That's it. Of course. Should so they be on the road? So, so, so the should... owners of the cows will be made liable for the fact that the cows, cows are, the yes, on the road. But unfortunately, you cannot blame the owner of the cow for the murder committed by the herder.
You should be, you can, no, 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 no. No, no, well, I don't know what that means, but you cannot, you know, he, that what person would have to face the charges for the murder that he has committed. Mm. But if that cow was on the road or just moving about where it's not meant to, that is the owner's responsibility as well. Mm. And then, of course, it brings to um, bear the conversation about ranching. Is it not enough evidence right now? that we need to do this thing properly. This is just, in Lagos, it's not as bad as some other states in the north. You will just see them, you will park your car and stop. Moria, and they cross you and I were in this Lagos when we saw a cow on 3rd Mainland Bridge. I, with my own Koroko right, I saw it myself. A cow on 3rd Mainland Bridge. Okay, so it's I saw it. Spread. So, so I mean, this happened about a few years ago. On 3rd Mainland Bridge, this and we all year. slowed down. Yes, you stop. This is, and yes, then so they'll cross. This year, it happened on this hour um, um, by this uh, Alausa. Mm. It was Alausa. Yes, yes, the car was on this side. Later, the car was on the other <laughs> side of the road. The car was running around for his own life. Mm. But no, it's normal in Abuja. They but, see but the but cows on another, the road. Yes. There's another thing also that the owners of these cows do not put into consideration. These animals have been known to hurt children sometimes. Oh, cows? Yes. Really? The horns. Ah. Some of them will run after little kids. And As if they're in the villages. Not no, the no, no, don't say that. But those are the things that you should put in place. I mean, when you're even having conversation about this ranching, if you just have these animals, just because they're animals, they don't know, just have these animals just running around and then they cause harm. In this case, the harm was caused to the cow. <laughs> what happens when the cow causes the death of another <laughs> person? No, who, 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 who takes them? I, apparently, because I was listening to the radio as well, apparently the driver that hit the cow was seriously injured. Oh, he was seriously mm. injured. He was he was going at the speed also. He, and he was going at the speed. He's supposed to be running on the road. Running on the road. Slowly. If you don't drive, a car is not supposed to be running on the road. But the car could the car could have. So the car caused the accident. Yes. yes. We don't know that for a fact. Uh -huh. the car was on it was in the road. The car was it, it drive. But the, the, car, car, the car was supposed to be on the main road first. Okay, the no, car should not be on the main road. That's not but the road. driver should not hit the car either. No, that the car, work. the driver I, shouldn't have hit the what car. What if it is the cow that ran into the driver? <laughs> it's not working, Mariah. Don't worry. Yeah, well, I, I don't, yeah. <laughs> but you know, there have been times they show it, like, um, on National Geographic, where, you know, they're trying to push for the protection of animals. Yes. And just, that's, that's important. But you're on the road, and there's an animal right in front of you, and you need to make two choices. Either you ram into that animal mm. or ram into a group of people on the side of the road. What would you do? You kill yourself because you won't ram into because you just try to divert it at a speed. You can lose your life because the car will flip over. Mm. So I can get that. So you, those are the so options the driver has. I want to talk about implementation of rules. So we have, you know, we have lots of rules. Plenty that we don't implement. Like in Lagos, we actually Lagos State unveiled, I think, it was two years ago, this amazing plan for ranching. It's supposed to be no cows within Lagos. Or the whole of Southwest, I think all the governors you know, agreed was, that we don't want. There was this amazing plan on paper. We, we went, it was a food, it was this, I think it was a food, they, they were launching a sustainability pro, pro, program for Lagos where we will sustain ourselves, our meat would come from Lagos and all mm, of this amazing thing. Year. We're going to do it in Ekpe. There was a place in Ekpe where you can get a farmland mm. and you, you will rear the feed for the cow. So people they don't have the cattle, will have their cattle. It was an amazing plan, but implementation process and the time in between. And when we do a mass implementation for one month and then two months down the line, nobody remembers but the cows are back. Your implementation is not reaching the herder. You see, we have to, we, we, all this English we are speaking, sometimes it doesn't get to the people that need to know. Somebody needs, to, have, somebody needs to inform Somebody needs to inform that herder. I don't need to inform that. that I, no, no. I inform the somebody the of the cows. Somebody needs to inform... To okay, because so, for some reason, the herder the her feels like, mm. this cow is so important, I must not tell my ogre that this cow died. You that you killed the cow, you must pay for it with cool. your life. No, so no. somebody must educate that herder. So whose responsibility is it is to educate? The owner of the cow. The, the owner of the cow. Okay, what if the owner of the Why cow is also... Why didn't you just sell the cow as meat? Exactly. Why didn't you get money? No, once you kill the cow, you can't sell it. You can't sell it. But if someone caused the death of the animal, you can ask for money for the, for the cause. Not to kill the person. But, you, but why would you think that killing the person is the right thing? I also think that when you hold the person accountable, I'm the owner, I'm the one paying the headers. I let the header know that, see, whatever you're doing, don't enter express. Whatever you're doing, don't do this one. Don't kill somebody. Because we, we, I, I have my staff. My staff go to sites. You get angry with them. I say, don't fight this person. No. We don't know what is in the person's mind. Just wait. Let's resolve the issue amicably. Mm. Because I've already groomed my staff to mm. know how to respond mm. to issues. Because I'm responsible for if anything happens to my staff or if my staff committed a crime. But well, we know so that's, that's, not how, that's not how header employment works. Yeah, exactly. So you own the cows. You are, not, you are going to the headers because they have better information on how to take care of the cows than you. So you're not Has actually any thinking that these headers the... are saying we're teaching you how to do it. Unless we have a system where there's ranching and putting these headers in a place 
where they stay, and then you can educate and train these people. A lot of the headers are, whether we like it or not, largely uneducated. And this is how they have headed for so long. We need to make this conversation about ranching more seriously. We need to take it more seriously because it's not only about the farmer headers because a lot of times we've thought it's about this group of people. It's really not our business, but it's coming into our cities yes, now, now and causing all sorts of fights and killings. This is but there was a fight between the driver, actually, and the herder. So I think he had hit the cow and there was a back and forth. So mm. something ensued before the stabbing took place. Mm. It wasn't as if he just killed and then I went to go and stab. Something had mm. happened. Um, that so, caused what what the... Mariam said is extremely important because Mariam said that we, we see um, header farmer clash where the um, fa farmers poison the yeah. cattle and they, they poison because that. they come to their farm and, and eat their, their stuff. Mm -hmm. So you want, you, you, buy, you do, actually for Gary, that one I was, I saw with my two Koro Koro eyes, um, I was coming cows. from Ogumosho, cows going to eat people's cassava, they put the cassava down to dry. And then the, the cattle was going to eat it off. And I also saw, and I must, I, must witness, I must state that, I saw the headers trying to push the cows away from eating the cassava. Mm -hmm. But they went there. So the, what people now, farmers now do is they will now poison some of the cassava. The cow will go and eat it, and then the cow dies. And the header comes and says, he put poison my cow. And then there's and this wolf. attack back and forth. Yeah. Ranching. Like, Simple. very obvious solution. Ranching is the way we need to stop doing stop this. It. In any part of the world, Western world, I don't know about Africa, or I, but even, even, Africa. even in Ghana, hey, yeah. I've never seen any cow walking on the road in Ghana. Successful ranch. I've, I've, I've never seen any cow walking on the road why, in Togo. Why are we like this? I go to uh, Bene, Bene, the Republic of Bene, I've never seen any cow walking on the road. Please, ranching, why are cows still walking on the road? Even Abuja, why can I send Abuja? I can even understand Abuja. I saw, and I saw cows. I, I, I can even understand Abuja that they are coming up from bush, from some sort of bush, and then found themselves on the express. I don't understand how cows are on Third Milan Bridge. I saw it too. Did they swim they from the lagoon and then get, you know, so I just don't know where those cows are coming from. They fell from the It has to be a ranch in places like Lagos. And they trade. Those cows it, trade. It's obviously. a different stop. Before, when, on our way home from Shrine, we used to meet them, the cows on the road. Maybe because we now go home earlier, but you will meet them on the road. Plenty. Plenty oh. like this. Can you have to wrap and up you up. must wait. I'm because happy. Have you, have you ever seen where her cow don't vex? No. You, 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 I like maybe that's yeah, why this cow was running up and down. They, they, they get annoyed. I, yes, no. When really? the cow get annoyed, the header can't move it. Away. I've never yes. seen a cow. They go crazy. They are they just they wait. dangerous. Can kill ah. someone. Sometimes, said they will stand and sit inside the gutter. Nothing the header will do. The cow will not come out. How come you know so much about this? Like, <laughs> I've been seeing them now. Where have you been seeing them? I'm not right. in Lagos. <laughs> yeah, in Lagos. Uh, because I have rage on you, 61. Yeah, uh, many experience. Many years of experience. I've seen cow where it vets and sat down inside the gutter. Okay, <laughs> okay keep me here. <laughs> Like it, like it. <laughs> <laughs> it is well. That's all we can take. But our hearts go out to our the, the out. people no, who have no, lost no life. Of, I'm happy that the, the herders have been arrested. Yes. They're in the police station right now. Just that justice this is Nigeria. Uh, which which kind of justice is it? They, it's, After it's a while, they wanted. let them go. I'd like to even hear their this own explanation. Like many yeah. said, we, are, we haven't heard about Deborah's uh, killers. Ah, yeah. We have we haven't heard of the one that was. We're still waiting. I like to put matter on cap on that carpet inside. We this have country. to run. That's all we can take on the show. So sad. Um, so sad indeed. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.